talk about equivalent decimals. Equivalent decimals that mean, or mean decimals that are the same, just written differently. They may look a little different, but they mean the exact same thing. So I like relating it to money. If we look at someone that has one dime, or and then someone that has 10 pennies, we would say that they have the same amount of money, although it looks completely different. So when we look at that, they both have 10 cents. So when we talk about equivalent decimals, let's look at one right here. Four tenths. Four tenths um, means, or four tenths can be written in multiple ways. The trick that you can have here to write equivalent decimals is simply just adding zeros to the right of the number. So four tenths is the same as 40 hundredths, which is also the same as 400 thousandths. So by adding these zeros after the number, you do not change the value of the number. However, if we add a zero before the number, we do. You change the value then because this four tenths now is four hundredths. Four tenths is greater. That's like saying four dimes and four pennies are the same, but we know that they are not. So by adding the zeros after or taking them away, you can add or you can make equivalent decimals. So again, equivalent decimals are just a fancy way of saying decimals written differently but mean this have the same value. When we want to write out word form of a decimal, it's important that we do not write the word decimal. This decimal is re uh, represented by the word and. Okay? So, when we look at this number, 4.32 we're going to start writing it out by looking at the whole number first. Four. And, and then the same rules apply here. Since this number right here is greater than 20, but less than 99, and it doesn't end in a zero, we're going to need a hyphen. So, four and 32, 30, dash, two, we're going to count the digits here. One, two. What number has two zeros in it? Hundred. So four and thirty-two. Hundred. Now, every time you use decimals, you need a THS at the end. So there we go. Four and thirty-two hundredths. THS extremely important when you're dealing with decimals. That's what tells you that it's a decimal rather than something in front of the whole number. Here we have the number 13 and 207 thousandths. If you notice that the 2 is underlined, I'm going to ask you what is the value of that 2? So we have to know our place value. We know we start with tenths, hundredths, and thousandths. So our value of that 2 is just two tenths. What about the value of that seven? What do you think the value of that seven is? The value of the seven is zero and zero, zero, seven, or seven thousandths. How would I write that out in standard form? Again, that is two and six thousandths. A common misconception, some, pe some people would write two and six thousand. All right, that number is actually two and six thousand ten thousandths, which is the same as two and six tenths. So to write this out, right, two, and then we know thousand has three zeros, so we must have three digits behind our decimal. So we're going to have two zeros and a six. That is the proper way to write two and six thousandths.